In some cases, you can skip that first pass when making a line and go straight into building the line up as you go. This technique works well in cases where a line is squiggly or organic, allowing for a little bit of margin for error. You can see there's plenty of needle hanging out, and there's a nice bevel on the tube, allowing for high visibility. Using the right size of diamond tip tube keeps the ink flowing out at a good rate, and the medium tight 4 needle group is thick enough to build these lines while still being precise enough to do the fine development along their edges. Although there's about 3 millimeters of needle hanging out of the tube, only around half of that is going into the skin, with the tube tip floating above the skin surface. This is made possible by having a good stretch and just the right amount of power. You can also see how this is sort of like using a pencil to develop a line on paper, where by moving carefully along the edge of that rough first pass with small overlapping strokes, it's possible to achieve a great deal of precision in building the lines to a consistent thickness. Even with an organic or irregular line, it's best not to rush through or it could heal light or patchy. An organic line like this can take almost as much care and effort as a precise arc if you want to get it clean and consistent. But for this style of line, you can generally skip the first pass and go straight into building it as you go.